I promise you, Ms. Nope, this disciplinary committee will go over every detail of what happened last night, and we will determine whether you are guilty of abusing your power. Do you have anything to say before we begin? Just that I'm looking forward to the truth coming out. I would like to say that Leslie is incapable of using people for her own gain. Thank you, Tom. But I can't, because Leslie loves using people for her own gain. If I may, Phil, I'd like to say something to Tom on the record. This has all been on the record. I'm very sorry that I invited Wendy to the party. Is Wendy one of the teachers? No, she's my soon-to-be ex-wife. And hopefully then to be future wife. Look, I'm really sorry. I put a new romance in front of an old friendship. Okay. I put a beautiful man in front of an adorable man-child. You're ruining it. I put a big white stallion in front of a little brown pony. Totally uncalled for. Ron Swanson will be next. When it comes to government hearings, the only type of witness I enjoy being is a hostile one. That's why I intend to answer every one of their questions with a question. Were you aware that all of the entertainment and food was provided by rec center teachers? Would I have stayed if I knew that? I don't know. Would you have? Would you have? No, I wouldn't have. Did you hear Leslie make any promises? What constitutes a promise? A quid pro quo. Oh, do you know Latin? Okay. Thank you, Ron. Are we done? So you don't work for the government, and you had no idea that these people were teachers from the local rec center? No. I was simply attending a dinner party at my friend's house. Why is he here, Ms. Nope? That will become clear. Mr. Anderson, could you please describe that evening? Well, I had a very pleasant time. And from my perspective, there was no abuse of power with respect to Ms. Nope and any of her various guests. Could you define pleasant? Did you have a good time? Did you have a great time? Be specific, and do you remember that you're under oath? Mm-hmm. I had an amazing time. But you fell asleep. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. No, I mean, look, I, I, uh, you know, I'd been given a case the night before, so I had to stay up all night working on it. I didn't want to cancel. But you should have told me I would have rescheduled. Are you kidding me? I was looking forward to it. I had an awesome time. Uh, which had nothing to do with the rec center teachers. No further questions. Okay. We're going to take a break, and we'll let you know what we decide in about an hour. Great. I will, uh, see you later. I'm in the middle of official business, so I can't talk about it right now. Okay. But yes, yes, you will. Great. <clears throat> so did you get that? He said amazing and awesome.